Welcome to my channel. My name is Eddie Maloof. In this video, I'm going to show you uh, exactly how we've connected AI to our ClickUp dashboard. Uh, my company is called 4 Media Marketing. Uh, we work with e-commerce and info product brands. We have about 100 employees, uh, and we're finding every possible way that we can use AI in our day-to-day -day as a team. Uh, so in this video, what I'm going to show you is how we connected AI, um, specifically ChatGPT and DALL-E, um, to our ClickUp board so that it will actually do the task for us. So we are trying to work towards a, a point where essentially tasks are 95% complete in seconds uh, by allowing AI to do it instead of actually having our own team members do it so that they can start thinking about better ways to delegate, better ways to cast the vision and explain what's trying to get done, uh, and having AI get us uh, almost to the finish line across the board. So if you don't know what ChatGPT is, first of all, um, you should probably look that up. If you don't know what Dolly is, I'll explain that real quick. Dolly is another uh, tool that is built on OpenAI itself. Uh, and basically what Dolly allows you to do is to generate images. So you can basically say, you know, I want to see a rainbow colored dragon spitting fire over a castle and it'll generate you multiple images of a rainbow colored dragon spitting fire over a castle. Um, so this is really cool for uh, creative purposes as well. If you ever want to make uh, different creatives online, um, it'll all happen through ClickUp. So just let me kind of show you the uh, process of how this works. So if we go into our ClickUp board, I make a new task. I call it test task for YouTube. And I enter that. I'm going to go into this task on ClickUp. And if you don't use ClickUp, you know, you can use this with other uh, CRM softwares as well. ClickUp is what we use. Uh, sorry. ClickUp is basically what we use um, to um, manage our team and all the tasks that we're doing inside of our entire company. So again, there's a hundred of us. We need to use tools like this to do it. Uh, so in the description tab here, this is actually what's going to populate over to ChatGPT or Dolly. So let me give you an example here. Um, you know, generate me and I'm just going to keep this basic. I'm not going to go too in depth because you understand the concept here. Uh, generate five headlines about how bright diamonds are um, so that I can use them in social media advertisements. Okay. Cool. Uh, and the cool part is we have two little check boxes here that you see attached send to chat GPT or send to doll E. So in this case, um, this is not an image. This is text. So I'm going to ask chat GPT. Had it been an image, I would ask Dolly to do the same. So I'm going to click this chat GPT. I'm going to send it to chat GPT should take about a second. Uh, sometimes it takes five seconds. Um, and basically what you're going to see here is I'm going to close this task. Send to chat GPT confirmed test test for YouTube. Boom right here in seconds. Uh, this is automated to Christian, who's our head of client success. Uh, it's attached to his account, but boom, you can see in seconds, be dazzled by the brightest diamonds, shine bright like a diamond, let your sparkle shine with bright diamonds, stunning brilliance, et cetera. You know what I mean? Um, and then if you want, let's just get, let's get crazy here. I'll uncheck this. I'll right click it. I'll copy it. I'll paste it here. And I'll say, make these five headlines funnier. And then I'll go back here. I'll check this box. This is all through here, not even through chat GBT. Um, and it's cool because you can start managing tasks in one place as a team. You can get multiple people to collaborate in the same spot. Uh, and you can see these things happening. Now there's a million ways to use chat GPT more in depth than this. Uh, but this is a really cool way that you can basically have um, all these tasks that you're assigning your team, right? Hopefully you're meeting at the beginning of your day or week and you're drawing out all the projects and tasks and things that need to get done. A lot of these are mundane work that requires a lot of thinking for a little amount of effort. Uh, and if you could just get your team to understand how to, uh, assign these to chat GPT automatically, uh, then you're going to be able to have a lot more success and move quicker. So you can see here shine so bright. You need shades, light up the night with diamonds. Diamonds make every day sparkle, be the shine of the party with bright diamonds, radiant beauty. Anyways, you get it. It created different, um, versions of this. So this is really cool because you can get, basically 90% of the way there and your team can take it across the finish line. And basically what we're doing is team is taking these, they're writing their own versions of them because chat GBT got them there. Uh, and then they're basically voting in the task, which one was the best and then moving off it. Uh, I'll give you another example for Dolly. Um, show me a uh, rainbow colored dragon 
that is spitting fire over a castle. Okay. I'm going to go here. I'm going to check send to Dali. As soon as it sends, as soon as I check that off, it takes a bit. Uh, and if you use Dali, you know, it takes a little bit of time to generate these images. Uh, but essentially, just like ChatGPT, it's going to ping open AI. And I'm going to show you exactly the technical side and the zaps and how I have this set up on the back end so that you can do it for yourself. Um, but essentially, it's going to ping back here with the images. So while we wait for it to uh, ping for the images, oh, I lied. It's already here. Check it out. Uh, obviously, this is a, a pretty shitty image, but you get the point. This is a rainbow. <laughs> this is a color dragon. Uh, and it's spitting fire over a castle. Um, so this is pulling directly from OpenAI. Uh, obviously, you, if you're using Dolly, you can create more variations, etc. Uh, this is a really cool tool that I think will start expanding. This is only the beginning of it, guys. It's only going to get better. It's only going to get crazier. It's only going to get more defined. Um, so just really exciting stuff to see where we're going to go. So with that being said, I'm going to jump into how we made this happen. Uh, we are using Zapier. If you don't know what Zapier is, it's an automation tool that's connecting, uh, that connects, you know, pretty much any software on the internet. So what we're doing here, uh, the actual, uh, trigger itself, which is basically what allows, um, what allows this to change, uh, or, or to ping and allow, uh, chat GPT to know that things are happening and to activate this, uh, is this. So basically for us, what trigger, we created a custom field called what changed, right? Required. Uh, custom field updated, and then we called the custom field send to chat GPT. So when you see back here, when I'm checking this box, send to chat GPT, and I'll show you it on a bigger scale here, you can see the columns. We made a custom field called send to chat GPT. And when it's true, meaning it's checked, uh, it'll start this entire process. So step two of it, it's going to send a prompt to open AI. You know, we just have it tied to Christian's for media AI account. And when it sends a prompt, you need, a, it's going to send you a prompt back, right? But you need a place to send that prompt and you need to tell it to go back to the same task. So you need to add a filler task in here, um, which is essentially to find the task by ID. So essentially what it's going to do is it's going to, basically you're going to click here and you're going to go to step number one where the task was changed and you're going to pull that task ID right here and you're going to put it in here dynamically. So basically what's going to happen is let me just walk you through this again. As of now, it's gonna you're going to change the task in ClickUp. You're going to check that box. It's going to know when that box is checked to send whatever's in the description, again, very clear, to OpenAI, ChatGPT specifically. Then it's going to send it back. But the problem is there's nowhere to send it back. So you have to then find the task as its own action uh, from step number one so that you have the task ID. And then, therefore, in the fourth step, you can post a task comment in ClickUp. Let's see here. And then you can see the task ID is dynamically posted here. The problem is if you do not do this step, find task by ID, you will not be able to automatically generate the task ID from step one. So this step three is super important for you to be able to make this work. Um, and the cool part, uh, there's no difference between this automation and the Dolly automation. It's literally the same. Task changes in ClickUp, generate image in OpenAI. So as opposed to here, send prompt. This one's generate image. Um, find task by ID in ClickUp. So again, same process, step number three. And then four, we're going to post that task in there. So uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free uh, to click below. There's also links to sign up for uh, Zapier or for ClickUp if you don't use any of those two softwares. Uh, but go ahead, comment below. And if you want to reach me directly ever, feel free to message me on Instagram. It's Eddie Malouf, uh, E-D-D-I-E-M-A-L-O-U-F. If you can't spell it, you're pretty dumb because it's on the video here anyways. Uh, but hopefully this provided you value. Hopefully you can start seeing the things that you're doing. And go ahead and hit that subscribe button uh, if you want to see more content like this because I'm going to be going crazy uh, with what I'm doing with AI here in our company because I am going to have 100 full-time employees uh, using most of their day on AI uh, before the end of this year. And I want to show you guys every single thing that we're doing here so that you can do it for yourself. You can do it for your personal life. You can generate more income. You can build more businesses and you can have less headaches. So with that being said, thanks a lot for uh, watching this video and uh, hope you enjoy the next one.